I'm Julia and welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. Today is April 29th, International Dance Day. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brianna. Here are today's announcements. All library books being checked out this week and next week are due by May 8th. No books will be checked out after that day as inventory will start on Monday, May 11th. Next year's golf team tryouts will be May 4th and 11th. Anyone interested can come to B104 and talk to Mr. Swartz. Math tutoring will only be on Thursday this week. Dance team tryouts will be tomorrow from 3.50 to 5.30 in the small gym. Here's our weather. Hey MJ, I'm here with your weather. Today we have a high of 72 and a low of 47 with a 20% chance of rain. Tomorrow we have a high of 67 and a low of 41 with a 20% chance of rain. Friday we'll have a high of 71 and a low of 46. And heading into the weekend we'll have a high of 77 and a low of 50. And Sunday we'll have a high of 81 and a low of 56. I'm Molly and that was your weather. Candidates running for next year's officers must get posters and all other campaign material, including anything they are distributing to students approved by Ms. Bates, Mr. Strickland, or Mrs. Wallace. Also, candidates may put up posters in the cafeteria only. Posters can be put up the week prior to election, which is May 7th. Campaigning may begin on April 30th. Prom tickets are on sale before and after school. Tickets are $57 with the current school ID and $62 without. Friday, May 1st, is the last day to buy prom tickets. Senior Mu Alpha Theta members may order a graduation honors cord for $5. Order forms are available in rooms C113 and are due by May 1st. Senior members of the Science National Honor Society may purchase a graduation cord for $6. See Mrs. Hayes in room C122 for details. Now for our sports news. What's up, NJ? I'm Andrew. And I'm Malia here with your sports news. Our guys' soccer team lost to L-Town last night, 2-0. Also, our baseball team unfortunately lost to Centennial 6-3. And tonight, our softball team has a makeup game at Hendersonville at 5. The Yankees continued their hot streak as they beat the Rays 4-2 and now have won 10 of their last 12 games. The Nationals, with the help of Dan Ogles' bat, overcame two eight-run deficits to beat the Braves 13-12. In NBA news, last night, the San Antonio Spurs won and took the series lead against the Los Angeles Clippers. With the help of Tim Duncan's double-double, the Spurs got a gutsy 111-107 win. Game 6 will be tomorrow night at 8.30 on TNT. Be sure to check it out. I'm Andrew. And I'm Malia. Now it's your sports news. Happy birthday, Malia. Oh, thank you. Oh. Honors Chemistry 1 tutoring will be available Tuesday and Thursday in room C126 from 310 to 350, and Wednesday in room C128 from 310 to 350. ACT prep information is in the guidance office. If you're taking the ACT in the near future, you can come to C108 every Wednesday, Thursday from 315 to 415 for free ACT tips and tricks. Students must turn in an excuse note to be excused for an absence. Any unexcused absences in a class will result in the student having to take exams at the end of the semester. And finally, here's our word of the day. Dude, that last one game was fire. Dude, last week totally made out when we were in the crate. Dude, that's crazy. It was crazy. Clay Conquer got so jealous. Really? Yeah, dude. I sliced his finger because he was so jealous. It was crazy. Yeah, I pushed him down the ice and I just skated right around his finger. It's okay. You've got this, Ben. Show him who's boss. Shut up! I don't want to be quiet. Respect me as a man! Man, this guy's a really terrible surrogate teacher. Yeah, I brought my bunny. You want to see it? What did you say? You're all being very naughty boys. Respect me. Respect me. Yeah. Thank you for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brianna. Have, Have a great day, MJ. MJ. You're never going out of style